Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing very, very well. It is a lovely Thursday afternoon and as you can hear, there's a kid outside uh, screaming, having a bad day, but I am having a great day because I am home. Um, I was gone up no into northern, northern California for a few days, so today is my first full day back home. And um, I am so happy to be with my family and everybody and my friends come over on Thursdays and I am super duper excited. Um, I am coming to you with a day, I, I have a bunch of books that I need to haul that have just been sitting there, but I am calling this the six books I've been meaning to tell you about and I really want you guys to know. So six books that you are going to put on your TBR. So as always, get out that pen, get out that paper, um, get out your Goodreads, because I have a feeling you are going to add these books. And we're going to kind of start YA-ish and go to super, super literary fiction. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the journey. Now, I don't know if you had a chance to watch my video with Casey over at um, Green Apple Books. She recommended a bunch of YA titles. And a lot of them I wanted right away, but one really spoke to me. So if you didn't watch that video, I wanted to tell you guys about it. And that is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. So this is an alternative US history where the middle of the Civil War is interrupted by a zombie apocalypse. And this is the story of a young girl who is being trained to hunt and kill zombies during the, the time of the Civil War. I don't know what else you need. I think that sounds like a fantastic, fun, um, also uh, just a different view of the whole zombie sort of trope. And um, I think, one, the cover, the girl on the front looks fierce. And I think it sounds amazing. So this is Dread Nation. It's subtitled Rise Up, so I'm assuming we've got a series, guys. And that's by Justina Ireland. I followed her on Twitter, and she's taking a Twitter break, I think, to write another book. So that's super exciting. The next book I'm going to tell you about is, it's just, it's fun. One, the cover is super fun. And that's The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. Look at that cover. But because it's a little bit complicated, I'm going to read the back. But what I love about this book is this book is one of those that takes like characters and people from literary history and reimagines them. So get ready for that. I think this sounds like a fun October read, but I think a lot of you like to read these kind of things all years long. So this says, Mary Jekyll, alone and penniless following her parents' death, quickly finds herself drawn into the secrets of her father's mysterious past. A clue leads her to believe that Edward Hyde, her father's former friend and murderer, and a murderer, sorry, um, may be nearby, and there is still a reward for information resulting in his capture, a reward that would solve all of her immediate financial woes. But her hunt brings her not to Edward Hyde, but to Diana, his daughter, a near-feral child left to be raised by nuns. With the assistance of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, Mary continues her search for the elusive Hyde and soon gathers around her more women, all of whom have been created through terrifying experimentation, Beatrice Rappaccini, Catherine Moreau, and Justine Frankenstein. When their investigations lead them to discover a secret society of immoral and power-crazed scientists, the horrors of their past soon arrive on their doorstep as well. And now it is up to the five women to stop the malicious machine, sorry, machinations of the Society des Alchemists. Quite simply, it is time for the monsters to triumph over the monstrous. I think that sounds so fun. So that's The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. Again, fantastic cover. I picked this up at Green Apple too. I had never heard about it, ever. And it was like face out on the shelf. So yeah. So the next thing I'm going to tell you about is Meaty by Samantha Irby. And this is actually a collection of nonfiction essays. And one, how adorable is this hedgehog? And I'm not going to say much about this other than she goes through a bunch of topics. She's supposed to be hilarious. And I think it says she laughs her way through tragedy, comic mishaps, neuroses, and taboos as she struggles through adulthood, chin hairs, depression, bad sex, failed relationships, masturbation, taco feasts, inflammatory bowel disease, and more. I just think it's hilarious sounding. I've heard that this actually quack. Blah, blah. Oh, 
has quite a punch, um, even though it is funny. Um, and she just cracks me up, and I think she's going to be fantastic. And that's Meaty by Samantha Irby, and I cannot wait to get to this. And that is, that is Irby. For some reason in the screen, I thought it was Irby. Um, try to read stuff backwards, Russell. What is that all about? The next book was actually recommended me by Noah. And this is um, Lion Cross Point by Masatuku Ono, translated from the Japanese by Angus Turville. And I butchered his first name, and I apologize. And this is actually out by Two Lines Press. And from what I know, this is their first hardback. And did they knock it out of the park? It's gorgeous. Now, I'm telling you about this. Noah's going to tell you about it in his video with me in a couple weeks. But um, I thought that this sounded so good. I had to pick it up and with this cover. And this is the story of a young boy. Let me see if I can get his name. Takuru, who or witnesses a horrible act against his mother and brother. Now, I hear there's a trigger warning for violence. So just so you know, it's there. And he goes to his family's small town and he meets people. He meets people who know his mother. He meets uh, different eccentric people in the little town. And he creates a new sense of what family means. It is a slim little book with a fantastic cover. And that is Lion Cross Point by Massas. Masa Sugo Ono, and I am so sorry. I practiced and clearly did not practice enough um, to try to uh, say that. But according to this, he is quite the writer in Japan, very well known. Um, so I am super excited to dive into that. And so last but not least is The Overstory by Richard Powers. Now, I haven't read a lot of Richard Powers. I know he won the um, National Book Award, I think for the Echo Maker, which I think I read years and years ago. Um, and then his last book was Orfeo, which I know was very, very popular. But Margaret Atwood says on the back, if Powers were an American writer of the 19th century, which writer would he be? He'd probably be Herman Melville of Moby Dick. His picture is that big. Now, this is the story of five very different people with very different backgrounds. I think, I can't quite tell from the description, but they may be over time periods, um, who are called by, let's say, the forest in the trees of the last, how, does, how do they put it? The last few remaining acres of virgin forest. And they are summoned in different ways by the trees and brought together and a last and violent stand to save this grove of trees. Now, that sounds weird and fantastic, and I think that he is one of those writers that he just, he's very lyrical, he's beautiful prose, and he con he conquers or takes on or tackles very, um, very worldly topics. And so I am super excited. And shout out to my friend Emily Fine of the Book Cougars for putting this book on my radar um, because I would never have uh, ran across it for a while, I'm pretty sure. And I mean, uh, that cover, you guys, that cover. I love how this circle is kind of like the ring inside of a tree when you cut it open. So that's The Overstory by Richard Powers. And I think it sounds fantastic. So that is, is that six books or five books? Oh, that, it's only five books. I meant to tell you about six books. Well, I'm sorry, five books that I've been meaning to tell you about. I hope you are all doing very well. And as always, if you are a return subscriber to my channel, thank you so much. Let's talk about these books below. Have you heard about them? Have you read them? Should I read them? Tell me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. And as always, until next time, happy reading, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.